All right, hey, Mike uh, from Mike's Backyard Nursery here. This is for uh, Hill Country Digital Media. Um, I'm trying to, I want to show you the irrigation system that I knew, use in my nursery because actually I've simplified it um, over the years. I, I no longer use a great big irrigation pump and one in one and a half or two inch lines. Um, not, not that that's not a good thing, it is, but I'm now, I, I did it differently. So I'm using, so from my pump, I run all one inch PVC. And then to the where my not my uh, irrigation nozzles are. This is three quarter inch, and then this is a I think it's a Nelson Whizhead. A couple different companies make them, but basically this thing spins and throws water in about 12 or 14 feet circle. And like in it, I have four different zones, and, and in this area here, um, we probably got six or seven different heads that will run at one time. So basically this works off of a, and here, this is actually a lawn irrigation controller that I'm, I'm using and I'll show you. And it works really, really well. So I have, these are solenoid valves, um, 24 volt solenoid valves. You can buy these at any of the big box stores that sell plumbing supplies. They, they're 15, 20 bucks a piece. And I've got them marked. So that's zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. And then these lines go, this is zone two behind me over that way is zone three over that way is zone one and then way over there is zone four so we've got a line that goes all the way over there but it's all controlled right here now during the winter i put unions in here because during the winter i take this all apart because you know if this pvc freezes it's disastrous it just shatters so all right and i also um what i i have a well a dug well that's really underneath of this pump house and so that the well pump look, look, works like a regular residential well pump. So it's on all the time during the summer months and there's always pressure in these lines. So anytime a valve opens, you automatically get water. I don't have to turn the pump off and on. There's a pressure switch on the pump that when the pressure drops down, the pump comes on and it will run until the pressure reaches the setting of probably 40 pounds and the pump shuts off. So I've also got, I got a line that I run here manually that goes over to my perennial bed. And then this line I operate manually goes over to the hydrangea bed behind me. So now Lily and I are gonna cram inside of this little pump house and I'm gonna show you this timer. So I'll let you get in. <laughs> so this is a Hunter irrigation timer. This one happens to be eight station and so in other words it'll operate eight different valves there's all kinds of different ones what's really important about this thing though is it has what is called a cycle and soak feature so the way that this works is when my water comes on it runs for five minutes and then it shuts off and then it the pump and both the pump and the well have three minutes to recover and then the the timer brings the water back on again so the water will only run for five minutes in any given zone and in between each cycle there's a three minute rest period that way i can't pull the well down too fast and the pump can keep up it's it's in, if you know if you're it's a great way to water too because the plants have a chance to let that water soak in before you put more water on there so they're really getting the benefit of the water and then the beauty of that is is that it moves around so i'll get five minutes in zone one a rest period five minutes in zone two, a rest period, five minutes in zone three, a rest period, and all the way through zone four. Now the cycle and soak feature, these are the directions right here. When you first set it up, you'll have to dig in there and figure out exactly how to set that up because I remember doing it, but I don't even remember how I did it now because once it's set up, I never, I've never had to touch it. But what I really like about this is right here, I can just turn it off. So now my irrigation is off. If I turn it to run, the irrigation is going to run at whatever time I set it. So let's look at run time. So I'm going to turn the dial over here to the run time. So, um, oops, I'm not, this is the start time. Okay, so at 2 p.m., the water's going to run. Now, run times, zone one is going to run for 16 minutes. I'm going to hit this arrow button. Zone two, 16 minutes. Zone three, 16 minutes. Zone four, I have off, and then I don't even have a zone five, so it's off. Zone six is off, seven is off, eight is off. Now, I'm going to go back. So now, so this shows that, that program A, because you can run four different programs with this thing. So I'm only running program A right now. So program A is going to run a total of 48 minutes of on time. 
So now I'm going to go back to zone one, and I really don't want um, 16 minutes of water because it's just early October. So I'm going to back this down to like 12 minutes, and then I'm going to go to zone two. I'm going to hit the minus button, back that down to 12 minutes. Zone three. Oops. 12 minutes, okay, zone four is zero, five is zero, six is zero, seven is zero, eight is zero, and now I've got 36 minutes of total water time. Um, you can set water days and all that, but the, basically these are the settings that I use. Now, if I go back to my, my run time, I can change that, well, here's my, my run time, or start time, I can change that anytime I want, I'm gonna leave it at 2 p.m. Now, if I want to run a zone manually, I simply turn this to manual, and uh, this is zone one, and it will run for 12 minutes, and all I got to do is hit this button here, whoops, hold it in for a second, okay, nah, I messed it up somehow, yeah, I did it wrong, okay, let's go back to manual, and then zone one, I'm going to turn it back to run, so now, Okay, Lily can peek out here where zone one is over there, and there's some water running, and Aiden's going to walk into the frame. <laughs> so, uh, pump kicked on, now I'm going to turn it to off. This thing is going to blink for a few minutes. The valve is already closed, but now the pump will probably run for a little bit to catch up. I turn it back to, to run. Let's say I want to run zone three manually. I'm going to use this button to go to zone three, Turn it over here. Now zone three is probably going to be on right about now. So zone three is running. You don't have to come on. And then I'll turn it off, and it's going to blink. So that's what I really like about this timer because it's very, very easy to control. So right now I have it set on run. And if I wanted to just run the whole program right now, all I have to do is hold this button down for a couple seconds. And now uh, zone one is just turned on. And now that thing is going to walk itself through the whole program. And all three zones that I have set right now are going to water, you know, over the next, what, are, what was it, 36 minutes or something? 36 minutes of on time. It takes longer because of those rest periods in between. Okay, so now I'm going to switch it to off because it rained this morning. And I'm just going to leave it off for now. So basically, this is a hunter irrigation timer. The most important thing you pick the number of zones that you want, but make sure you get that cycle and soak feature so that you can let the water run for whatever period of time you want. And I use five minutes and let it soak in and then the rest period because that's a really good way to, to really get everything in your containers really good and wet. So, all right, I'm Mike from Mike's Backyard Nursery and I appreciate you watching this video.